Hello Leo and welcome to July 2018 Tarot Reading. If you'd like a personal reading you can reach me on InstantGo or my personal website and the links are listed below this video for your convenience. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading will not resonate with all of you. So we've got some pretty interesting cards here on the table. Uh, first of all I'd like to say that here July uh, you, some of you are working, I want to say, probably pretty too hard. And I feel like the message here is to spend more time uh, with the family or with your loved ones. We've got pay attention to the red flags over here. So this has a meaning that there are some signs. There are some messages coming in in July that are um, cautioning you. Okay, so here we've got the moon. So the moon card is, you know, maybe some of you are down. Maybe you're disappointed about um, some news that comes in July. Maybe you're just kind of in between relationships and you just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you're pretty frustrated about it. Uh, I would say here we've got a conflict with the emperor. Okay, this could be somebody um, that has a Mars uh, sun, moon, or rising. Uh, so it could be an Aries. It could even be a Scorpio. Uh, I'm feeling that Mars really strong here. Uh, perhaps this person hasn't been honest with you. Uh, and so I feel like there are messages, truth comes out in July about uh, this dishonesty. Okay. I also feel like some of you might have uh, been in contact again with someone from your past and perhaps there are walls up here uh, because of things that have happened in the past so I just feel like you should just continue on giving love continue on just being who you are and let the universe unfold the situation with you okay uh, also to some of you are really down about you and uh, you know it's time for you to uh, take a look inside inside you that's the message here look inside you are you are you giving yourself enough respect do you value yourself okay these are the questions that are coming up for July and being that the messenger Mercury is uh, now in Leo and will retrograde back in Leo before it goes direct again in Leo in August. Uh, there are messages about uh, your ego and your spirit. Messages about um, you know who you are. You know bringing out your authentic self, being your you know uh, you know taking a look at your personality, how you come across other people. But the most I'm getting is how much do you value yourself okay because that vibration is important if you want other people to value you <coughs> I do feel like there's a decision here in regards to money I feel like it has something to do with traveling maybe not all the money's where you'd like it to be but your plans are to travel and I feel like your plans are to travel to uh, do business to meet someone um, who I feel will be trying to uh, set something off for you. Now this could be a business transaction or maybe it's a friend that wants to introduce you to someone. Okay, but, but here the decision is, can I financially afford this? Because I feel like you're not getting the support from the person that you want to meet. In other words, I don't feel like the money's being given up front for this journey. All right, so you're going to have to work on uh, bringing in more finances for yourself because I, I feel like that person is going to stick with, um, you know, how they feel. So I know it's kind of a decision here that I'm looking at where, all right, do I put the money up front? What if this business deal doesn't go through, for example? Okay. Uh, I also feel like some of you um, who are into... Uh, business that maybe are public speakers the emperor or you know talk about leadership etc uh, I do feel like that you want to give uh, perhaps some either workshops or uh, talks about leadership 
inspiration. Uh, I feel it's a good month to help people in regards to, uh, you know, feeling more inspired to perhaps, you know, be more their, their authentic self, be more their, um, uh, help them search uh, or figure out what their sole purpose is. You know, feel like it's very spiritual. Okay, for some of you. Others, I feel like you have, there's talk about money. Okay, so when I say talk about money, it doesn't necessarily have to be now, uh, you know, getting workshops together or, you know, talking about public speaking. These could be meetings. You know, I, I see a lot of behind the scene meetings here regarding uh, talk about money. Uh, this could be investments. This could be uh, raises, promotions. Okay, now. What I'm feeling here, when I go back to pay attention to the red flags, all right, because there's five planets that will be retrograde in July and August, just, you know, have to be cautious here that whatever somebody promises you or whatever they're discussing with you, that you get it in writing or you make sure that this is a solid deal, especially when I'm looking at the moon. Okay. Now, what's heavy on some of them of your minds here is about love, okay? And again, I feel like money is involved because you've got a lot of pentacles here, a lot of pentacles. Um, so some of you are thinking about your career, you know, is it really satisfying? Uh, is there something else out there for me? And then some of you are thinking about, oh, maybe, um, you know, it's about, where am I going to go with this company? How am I going to grow? Some of you are also shifting, okay? Shifting into new careers, new, uh, even new locations. I feel like for some of you, you're relocating, okay? Which I'm also picking up with that Six of Swords. Now, I feel like, you know, there may be a few of you that are traveling who are or have been in the past in a situation where it's been you know, a rocky road, okay? So maybe this relationship uh, had a lot of problems. Maybe this relationship also um, didn't end on a good way. So I, I do feel like that you'll have the opportunity in July. I just feel like you have to be cautious with your words, how you talk to someone. Be really clear about what you mean. Be really clear about your words, okay? That to me, I feel that's important. Now, here too, I'm getting chemistry and heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So for some of you, I feel like you've already experienced the reconciliation or you're working on the reconciliation. Maybe you're back talking again. Okay, it's really important to express from the heart and for the ones that are expressing to you from their heart, be open, be open. Listen to what they have to say. They may say some things that maybe you don't want to hear all the time uh, or hear it all because they still remember the pain that they experienced in the past. So, um, you know, either way it goes, I feel like you just need to leave, you know, let the shields down and let the heart flow and, and just, you know, go with it. Okay, because it's really got good chemistry. I really don't feel like this person is lying to you um, or maybe you're not lying to them. However, I do feel like here someone has an interest in more than what they're talking about. So in other words, if they're putting on the charm and they're talking about all this love and I want to be with you, honey, and blah, 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 uh, you know, watch it. Be careful because we've got the moon and over there we've got the pay attention to the red flag. So I feel like they have more in mind, okay, than just love. I feel like they have more in mind. There's, a, there's another intention here of, um, of what they want with you. You know, especially too when I look at the emperor. Maybe they need some help. Maybe they need some guidance. Maybe they find that you're a very powerful person and so they want some of that power. Okay, so please be cautious about that. Okay, so, but, uh, you know, I do feel like for some of you Leos, you have some new endeavors, okay? New business thoughts come, even new thoughts on love. And I feel like with the Page of Swords, you know, as we move through July, I feel that it, uh, a lot of these ideas spring forward. I feel like there are um, people 
who are going to come to your side, come to help you um, transform a lot of these ideas, okay? Money is still a little stiff in July. I do feel like it will get better as you get towards the end of July into August, um, especially with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. But I will warn you to be really careful that someone is not using you, okay? I feel like for some of you, you know, things seem so so good or, or there's you're giving a lot out to someone and I feel like they may be taking advantage of you, especially in July. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some other cards here. So we have justice, okay? So for some of you, I feel like there may have been a legal situation or I feel also could be have something to do with um, debt. I feel like it has something to do with debt. Maybe you owe someone money. Maybe they owe you money. Uh, I feel like this is going to go to court. Okay. I feel like it needs to go to court so that it can end finally in either your favor or the other person's favor and trans, you know, just go through the transformation because the death card is endings, new beginnings transformation just like the tower card and then we've got the ten of swords so some of you might actually be going to court or settling a case in july that either had something to do with a surgery could have been a medical situation or it could have been um uh, an accident you know something where you got hurt on the job per, for example it could have been any type of accident i feel like um you know, July for some of you, it's coming up for either settlement or it's starting to move forward. Uh, perhaps even you have to go to court. Maybe some of you will have a trial. I'm also feeling like this may have something to do with love. Some of you may be going through an ending of a relationship that may involve money and property. And so July has significance in regards to that. Um, okay, so... All right, so then I'm going to pull some more love cards. So there's that reconciliation card that I was talking about. Like some of you have already gone through the reconciliation and some of you haven't. So it is, it's here. Whether you decide to fully reconcile, of course, is your business. I feel for some of you, you will. That's why I said I feel like you need to give a chance to listen uh, with an open heart. Okay, and with a clear mind. I know that we have pay attention to the red flags, but that could be just past energy too. Things that happened in the past. So if you keep bringing up the past, you're not going to get anywhere in the present. So if you don't get anywhere in the present, you're not getting anywhere in the future. So keep that in mind. Okay. And also too, Spirit is letting you know, you can feel safe. You can feel safe with this love. Be positive. Be your best you can be. Uh, maybe maybe the person you're interested in or you've reconciled or maybe maybe this has something to do with um, even a new love. Okay, uh, maybe you're just in this, you know, position because you've been hurt in the past. You're not sure. You don't feel safe. You want to know if the person's telling the truth or not. Okay, but I do feel like things move along really soon. And just because it's a Mercury retrograde or five planets retrograde, it doesn't mean that you still cannot experience love. Okay, you just have to, like Spirit's giving me, make sure you don't twist your tongue up. In other words, be careful what you say. You know, just be really clear about it. Uh, try, you know, with Mars being retrograde, try not to be too aggressive about it. Uh, because, you know, Mars can do that. All right, so it really looks great for you, Leo. Um, there are some some things, little hurdles, but I feel like you will have a great month in July. Stay positive, think positive, be positive. Much love and blessings.